Good morning, good morning, good morning. I'm gonna wait while some people log on here. Pastor Kelly hadn't even had my first, my first sip of coffee yet. Good morning, good morning. I, I wanna pr just pray as you come on this morning. Carmelita, good morning. Peggy, good morning. Good morning. Is that Carrie? Carrie, good morning. I need to clean my glasses here. Mar Marcia, God bless you. God bless you, ladies. I just pray blessings over you. Rebecca, Denise, Tina, Grant, good morning. Kimberly Kennedy, good morning. Elaine, good morning. Copel, good morning. <clears throat> Uh, Patty, Patty, good morning, Patty. Uh, good morning, Lisa. Good morning, uh, Norma. Is it Norma? Yes. Debbie, good morning, Debbie. Kimberly Allen Morgan, good morning. Amy Ryan, good morning. Denise, good morning. Darcy, good morning, Darcy. It's early there. Julie, good morning. Margie. Good morning, ladies. Gina, I just declare the blessing of the Lord over you. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Emerald, Kelly, uh, Connie, Kim. Good morning, ladies. Yes, yes, Lord. Diane, good morning. <clears throat> Dewala, good morning. Michelle, Ann, good morning. Tracy Gherkin, good morning. Tracy, yes. Uh, I just declare the blessing of the Lord over you this morning. I want to encourage, first of all, last night in Houston, uh, in Mont Bellevue, our prayer invasion was, uh, it was three hours long, but it was fantastic. So I encourage you, it is on my page. In fact, it will be right under this broadcast today. <clears throat> Go on and take the time, put it on and listen to it. We had, of course, a full-blown band, our worship band, and then we had Leland with us, and we had uh, uh, pastors from, uh, uh, Jessica Robbins from Beaumont was with us, and uh, pastors Mark and Dina from Hillside were with us, pastors Don and Jonna from <clears throat> Mercy Gate. Of course, uh, Pastor Don opened up his church and allowed us to come there, which was such a blessing. And we just had a wonderful time in the Lord last night. So I want to encourage all you ladies to just go back. If you weren't, didn't watch last night, go back and share it and watch it. Uh, you will be so blessed. It's already had over 5,000 views, so people are really enjoying it. So I want to encourage you to do that. Um, I also just want to encourage you <clears throat> that your prayers are making a difference. You are changing the course of history with your prayers. And listen... Anything that is of God, anything that God calls us to do is not going to be without challenge and it's not going to be without the enemy trying to throw his best shot at you. I, I mean, it's just we have to learn that. I love what my husband said. He says, I, if I could only tell somebody a, a couple of things when they got saved and then they, I would tell them they have a family, they're part of a family, and that they're in a war. And it is really true. You're a part of a family and you have all the riches of heaven right at your fingertips, but you're in a war. And if you don't understand those two things, you can get really frustrated. But we live in the world and it's a fallen world. And, and, the, and Jesus is our Lord and Savior and he can protect us and he can bless us right in the midst of it. And he can just make us so bless, blessed and prosperous and powerful and help us to do the kingdom work. But it will not be without challenge. And uh, because we live in a fallen world, we're not in heaven yet. We live in a world that, that you know, it's got, there's the, the demons have um, free reign down here. Now, the Lord is still Lord and he's supreme and he can wipe out any demon when we apply his name and his blood, but it, we still live in a fallen world. So if you understand that fact, you won't get discouraged when things happen to you that you can't control or something happens out of the blue, but that's when we go to God because he, good morning, Cecilia, good morning, 
uh, Sandra, good morning to you. That's when God is our strength, our fortress, our power, our wisdom. He wants to show himself strong. I thank you all for praying for my daughter yesterday. I just ask you to keep her in prayer. <clears throat> keep Lana. It's Lana, Lila, and Tripp. And Lana, Lila, and Tripp. And so I'm just asking you to pray for Lana that um, that she she will just walk in everything that God has for her. Walk in everything that God has for her. She is my firstborn child, and I know that God has great things for her. I also want to ask you to pray for our son, Jonathan. Jonathan, that he will, uh, he will walk in everything that God has for him. That we will see God do greatness in him. And then I want you to know that I am praying for you and your children. And so if you will put your kids' names... Today, I'd like for you to, first of all, I want you to share the broadcast. <clears throat> Go ahead and share the broadcast and invite your friends. Say, pray with us this morning. Pray with me and Pastor Callie this morning. So share the broadcast. And then I'm going to ask you to like the broadcast. And I'm going to ask you to just today, let's start the day off by posting your children's names. Post your children's names. If you've got grandchildren, post your grandchildren. If you don't have children... Excuse me, and you have a niece or a nephew, post their names, whoever you're praying for. Because I want to go back today and I want to lay my hands on those names. And I want to believe you for a great harvest with your children. Lord, we just thank you today for an opportunity to love you, to praise you, to serve you. I thank you for what you're doing in our midst. I thank you for the power of God that I feel actually sitting on this couch today. I sense your awesome power. I sense your awesome strength. I sense your wisdom. I sense breakthrough. Ladies, we are headed into some of the most unbelievable, glorious times of the church. We're going to see major breakthrough, major breakthrough. Julie Enderly, you're going to see major breakthrough with your, with your kids with your boys. Major breakthrough. And we're going to see major breakthrough. God is God is going to do things that blow our mind. So we're going to God is going to move in our families and there's many 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 of our family members are going to get in complete alignment with the Father. And they're going to they're going to uh, do what God Lisa Lisa Brady God's moving in your children. They're going to do what, what the Father has called them to do since the, since the day they were conceived in your womb. Since the day they were conceived in your womb. And so we're going to see that. We're going to see our churches filled to the brim with hungry people that want to serve God. With hungry saints. With hungry sons and daughters. There are 340 prayer altars this morning. And I want you ladies to know that I love you so much, and I am so proud of you. And I'm a human, so if I'm proud of you, can you imagine what God feels when you get up every morning and we pray together in one accord, seeking his face for the third great awakening in America, for the heart and soul of America to be healed, and for a billion soul harvest. Can you imagine how happy this uh, this makes the Lord. How happy this makes the Lord. And Lord, I just thank you for these women. I thank you, God, for their faithfulness. I thank you, Lord, for their goodness. I thank you, Lord, for, their, for, the, for your goodness and for their faithfulness. And I thank you, Lord, that we receive your goodness and we receive your mercies and we receive your righteousness. And we are all of those things because we are, we are literally hidden in you, Lord. We're hidden in Christ. And, Lord, I just thank you for that. And, uh, and so I believe that we're going to see our children, our sons and daughters, all back into the house of the Lord 100% in their destiny. That is the word of the Lord to you, and that is the word of the Lord to me. That is the word of the Lord, and no evil shall befall them, and no plague shall come nigh their dwelling, and God is going to save them from all disasters. He's going to save them from all disasters. 
He's going to save them from all disasters. He's going to, he's going to, uh, he's going to move on them. He's going to stand by their bed. He's going to call their name, but he's going to, he's going to wake them up. He's going to shake them, but it will not be by disaster. It will be by the spirit says the Lord, by the spirit. God is calling our children by the spirit. God is doing this. He will not be by disaster. And God, I just thank you. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord that you are moving in our lives. I thank you, Lord, that there is breakthrough in the way of healing this morning. I kept hearing a name yesterday uh, as I was praying through the day by the name of Billy. Billy. Now, I don't know if that's someone's husband or that's someone's son, but I, I, I heard that God wants to heal Billy. And I need you to, to send me... Yesterday, there was a, a lady that, that was listening. She has not been a part of this for very long. She, she told me she's not, even a, uh, she's not even a strong believer. She just, she's, she's, she's learning. God's working on her. And she had a, l a lump and, and something in her neck, and it went away. God healed her. God healed her. So God's healing on these broadcasts. He's healing every day. So we just declare in Jesus' name, we also declare that Janelle Friedrich had, has been having terrible pain in her neck. God's healing her right now in the name of Jesus right now. But there's somebody named Billy, and he's attached to some woman on this, on this broadcast. And Billy, you may even be watching. I don't know. But God is healing you, and he's healing you supernaturally. Actually, right now, right now, he, Billy's being healed. Right now. Billy's being healed. And everyone that's watching, everyone that's watching is being blessed and being healed and being delivered and being set free. Actually, God is doing a great deliverance in our children. There are many being delivered from alcoholism, from drug addiction, from, from uh, sexual addiction, uh, and from all kinds of phobias and addictions. God is healing. He is, he is making minds straight. Minds are being healed. They're whole. God has given us a sound mind, and you're receiving a sound mind today. A sound mind by the Spirit of God. A sound mind by the Spirit of God. A sound mind by the Spirit of God. God is healing your mind today. Your mind today. God's healing the eyes today. Some of you have been having trouble with your vision. I think there's even someone that has been diagnosed that they're going to go blind. And I prophesy in the name of Jesus, you will not go blind. God is healing you right now as I speak. God is doing it. Your eyes are being healed. Be healed. Be healed. No, no dim sight. Complete vision. Be healed in the name of Jesus. 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 Blinded eyes being healed. You can see perfect. You can see perfect. Lord, I just thank you. There are 384 prayer altars this morning. Lord, I just thank you. First of all, we're going to pray for America. Lord, we just pray that the heart and soul of America will be healed. We pray for a firewall of protection around this nation. We ask you, God, to guard us against any attack of the enemy. We ask you for a firewall of protection, a firewall of protection. We ask you, God, to, to give us such a love. Give everyone, give all 389 women and men or whoever's watching and everyone that will log on to this broadcast later. Give us an unbelievable, insatiable desire for prayer and your presence. God, give us a desire for prayer and your presence. Give us a desire for your word. Let us have a Bible revival in the name of Jesus. A Bible revival in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, that you give us a hunger to see souls saved. We call forth millions of souls saved in the name of Jesus. We call them forth in Baytown. We call them forth in Mount Bellevue. We call them forth in Beaumont. We call them forth in Houston, LaPorte. We call them forth in, in Deer Park. We call them forth all across this Houston area. Sandria, Moko, Sandria. 
I want to encourage you right now to pray in your prayer language. Pray in your, everyone that has a prayer language, pray in your prayer language. If you don't have a prayer language, raise your hands right now and begin to worship Jesus. And the, and the Holy Ghost is going to fall on you and you're going to begin to speak in tongues. God, we just worship you. We love you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We thank you, God, that you're moving in this election. And God, that, that righteousness and holiness will prevail. And that your will will be done in this election, in this national election, God. I pray for President Trump that you protect him. I pray, God, that you don't let anything happen to his family or to him. I pray, God, for everyone in Washington, God, that there would be no chaos. There would be no one taken out. There would be no no kind of uh, t uh, problem, Father, uh, is with violence or someone hurt in the name of Jesus. God, you expose what you're supposed to expose, but God, let everyone, God, that is trying to do a good job for America and that it loves the people and that is not crooked and that is not trying to just farther their own agenda, God, I ask you to protect them. And God, if there are ones that are doing those things, bring them to a place of repentance. And if they won't repent, remove them out of office, Lord. Remove them out of office. We need people in our uh, local and state and national uh, representatives. We need, we need men and women in politics that love you, Father, above all things, and that love your word, and that love the people of the United States of America, and that they're not in it just for what they can get or what kind of agenda they can push. But God, we ask you for righteousness in our government. We ask you for righteousness in our school systems, the elementary, junior high, high school, college, uh, local uh, junior colleges, local colleges, and then national colleges, our Ivy League schools. God, visit these schools. Let there be major revival in our schools. Let there be major revival. God, I'm asking you to raise up revivalists in these schools. God, just like you did in the Jesus movement, raise up revivalists across this nation. Raise up men and women that are called of God. Raise up a, a thousand Sean Foyts. Raise up a thousand prophets that will go to the street. Raise up 10,000 women pray and prophetic evangelists, women that will pray and fast. Listen, ladies, I had a vision. I had a vision. And in that vision, we were going from region to region. There were We were doing it once a quarter, and we were bringing in thousands of women. And we were praying for the first night. And then we were going into a 24-hour drenched with her voice. And I saw God moving in a powerful way this next year. And there is going to be a major gathering of the harvest. A major gathering of the harvest. A major gathering of the harvest. And I need you to recruit prayer warriors. I need you to get out and call. Sound the alarm. 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 Tell people tell Christians we've got to be praying. We must be praying morning, noon, and night. We must be praying. Call them onto this prayer cast. God, we pray for everyone in America that is currently praying. God, we ask you for a revival of prayer. I pray, God, for Lou Engel, God, as he goes into Washington. I pray for the return, God, as they're in Washington this weekend. I pray for Franklin Graham. <coughs> Lord, as he's in Washington praying this weekend, God, we bless Washington. I thank you for a major turn in America, a major turn in America, a major turn in America. We are coming back. We are coming back. We are, coming back. We are returning to the Lord. We are returning to the Lord. God's... Uh, the, 
the, the foundations of righteousness and justice are being reestablished in America. The foundations of righteousness and justice. And listen, ladies, we can't just p- pray through an election. We can't just pray because we feel God needs to move in an election. We've got to pray from now on. We've got to pray until the manifestation of the glory of the Lord is released in this country and around the world. We must awaken and we must stay awake and we must call forth sons and daughters to awaken to the voice of the Lord, to awaken to prayer, to awaken to sacrifice. Oh my God, I ask you today. I ask you today. I ask you today, God to burn in our hearts. God, to let love, the love, your love for mankind burn in our hearts. Let your love for the lost burn in our hearts. Let your love, God, your love, the kind of love you have for us, let us reciprocate that love to you, Lord. I adore you, God. I worship you. I extol you. You are King of kings and Lord of lords in my life. You are the great God. You are almighty. You are powerful. You do great exploits. There's no one like you, Lord. 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 Uh, the Lord told me a few months ago that the, that America, that the heart and soul of America would be healed. He said, Callie, pray for the heart and soul of America to be healed. And he said, America will not go down in the flames of hell, but America will arise in the altar of incense and the prayers of God's people as they go up across this nation. God is calling you. You are called for such a time as this. And I want to admonish you by the power of the Holy Ghost to invite 10 women. There are 400 of us praying this morning. There are 412 of us praying this morning. If all 412, all 400 of us ask 10 women to pray with us, We can triple what we're doing every morning. And that many more. God just needs a remnant. He needs a remnant. He needs a remnant. And God, we call forth a thousand women live, 10,000 women in a 24-hour period praying in America. God said, Callie, call forth 10,000 mothers in Zion. Call forth 10,000 praying Prophetic evangelist, do you understand that we can move heaven and earth through our prayers? That whole nations can be saved through your voice, through our supplications to the Lord? God can do great things through our obedience to prayer. Don't let anything stop you from prayer. Don't let anything stop you from seeking God on a daily basis. God, we call forth, we call forth hundreds of women. To, to, a, to take up their post in prayer. We call forth hundreds of women. I thank you for leaders in regions. I thank you for leaders in regions. God is singling out leaders in regions, leaders in regions, leaders in the Midwest, leaders on the North, in the Northeast, leaders on the West Coast, leaders on the Northwest, leaders in the North of this country, leaders in New York, leaders in Texas. God, begin to rally the women to pray. Begin to rally your sisters to pray. Begin Begin to rally them to pray. Begin to rally them to pray. Right now, God is healing. God is healing. God is healing all types of autoimmune disease right now. Raise your hands. He's healing you. He's, He's healing you. He's also delivering you. He's also delivering you. He's also delivering you. There's there's somebody here that's praying with us. Uh, in fact, you're praying every morning. You're praying every morning. And you are battling the worst battle in your family, in your family, with your husband. And 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 it's terrible. It is terrible. And you have cried your eyes every night, and you're here every morning praying. But I'm telling you right now, I see your husband, and I see him 
being gloriously delivered. This is one lady in particular. There may be more than one that are having issues, but this is one lady in particular. And um, he, he has been bound by pornography and he is, he is having an affair. There's, he's having an affair and he is in trouble financially. There's three things going on. He's bound by pornography, he's having an affair, and he's having trouble financially. And you've been standing in the gap, and you've been praying, and you've been seeking God. And I'm telling you, God's gonna turn this around. This man's gonna have a visitation from God, and he's gonna repent, he's gonna get delivered, and God's gonna, and God's gonna because he has a great ability to make money. But God has put him in a tough spot because he's trying to get his attention, because his money is the only way God can get his attention. So God is gonna get his attention, and he has gotten his attention, and he will deliver him. I want, whoever you are, I want you to message me. Whoever you are, I want you to message me. God is working a miracle on your behalf. You have been faithful to be on here every morning. I don't even know if you if I see your name, but you're faithful. You're on here every morning. You're desperate. And God says he's moving on your behalf today. Today. Your husband will be delivered. He will fall so head over heels in love with you again. And he will be the high priest of the home. He'll be everything you've ever dreamed for him to be. And God is going to literally almost instantaneously fix his business. When he, when he surrenders, when he surrenders. E cororomos, instantaneously, instantaneously. E kaya da 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 mo si, e on da 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 mo ko. I pray for any woman on this broadcast that's having trouble in their marriage. There's uh, infidelity, or there's, uh, maybe there's trouble on your part. Maybe there's trouble on your part. I pray, God, that you make every marriage strong, Every marriage strong. Let these women be uh, sensitive to your spirit. Let them be sensitive to the, their husband's needs. Let them be loving and kind to their husbands. Loving and kind to their husbands. Let them pray in the Holy Ghost over their husbands. Ladies, the best thing we can do for our husbands is pray in the Holy Ghost over them. Let them pray in the Holy Ghost over their husbands. God, let them pray in the Holy Ghost over their cities and over their churches. Over their cities and over their churches. There's a pastor's wife that's on this, and I don't think I've ever spoken to you before, but you're on this. You may even be new. <clears throat> and you have been so discouraged. And uh, everything around you is good, but you have been battling... Uh, uh, discouragement, you have been battling fear, and you have been battling uh, depression. And God is healing you right now. Right now, God is healing you. In fact, he's healing anybody here. There's 423 of you on this prayer cast. He's healing depression right now. Ma'am, he's healing you right now. Hope is re-entering your heart. Hope is re-entering your heart. I plead the blood of Jesus over you. I declare you're healed in the name of Jesus. You're healed. Anyone suffering with anxiety, you're healed right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you're healed. You're healed in the name of Jesus. We declare the blessing of the Lord over you. We declare the blessing of the Lord over you. We declare you're healed, you're set free, you're set apart. In Jesus' name, 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 in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. <clears throat> Many of you are going to experience the fire of God being poured out over you. Over the next 10 days, I see the fire of God being poured out over you. And like you're going to you're going to feel and receive another level of anointing that is going to empower you to do the work of God, to do the work of God in your family, to do the work of God in your churches, to do the work of God in your cities, to obey God. There, the power of God is being released 
to you to do the supernatural things by the Spirit. Supernatural things by the Spirit. And many of you, God has been speaking to you in the midnight hour. Your dreams are going to increase. The power of God is going to increase in your life and in a manifested way. I declare, uh, Lisa Brady, uh, you and Johnny, I, I see great uh, revival hitting your church. Oh, no, no. I just saw the fire of God hitting your church. I saw hundreds of people coming in there to be saved. Brother Hurd's church, Inspire Church. I see God just raising that church up. And, uh, and then there will be thousands and thousands and people and thousands and thousands going into in Lisa's church too. These, this whole Houston area is going to experience a tsunami of revival. I see Celebration of Life, my home church, being filled like hundreds and hundreds, people standing out outside to get in the doors. God is going to fill our churches. I see, I see Maranatha. Well, it's not Maranatha anymore. It's Hillside, Hillside Church being filled to the, to the brim. I mean, people standing outside to get inside the church. I see Mercy Gate being filled to the brim and Celebration of Life. I see every church in this city that preaches the Bible and preaches God, preaches Jesus as Lord. I see spirit-filled churches across this region, across this region being filled. But there are certain churches where the glory of the Lord is going to fall in such a powerful, manifested way. The glory of the Lord uh, uh, in Beaumont, in Donnie and Jessica's church, the glory of the Lord, Life Church. The glory of the Lord in Celebration of Life Church. The glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. In every church I've mentioned, God, in every church I've mentioned, the glory of the Lord will just begin to fall. And many, many, the glory of the Lord on the Northwest, the glory of the Lord in, in Heritage Church, the glory of the Lord in the Collective Church, God, uh, <clears throat> the glory of the Lord in uh, the Rio Grande Church, the Collective Church in the Rio Grande, in Eric and Manny's Church, God, oh, the glory of the Lord in your church, the glory of the Lord in uh, 415 churches that are represented, the glory of the Lord in every church that we're going to in America and every church we've been to, the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is being poured out the fire of God is being poured out. There will be a, there will be such a, a revival atmosphere, a holiness atmosphere, a glory atmosphere that we are entering into the church of the living God. There will be a, a, a call to holiness and to prayer and to repentance like never before. It will ring across this nation it will ring across this nation and people will bow their heads and fall on their knees and seek you, Lord. There is a call from God. There is a mandate for holiness. There is a mandate for a separation and a consecration. God will not be mocked. There is a call. There is a call for the separation and, and a consecration in this nation. God is calling us. And he's saying those that will pray and fast, I will move in power and great wonders. I will move supernaturally in your churches. I will bring them in by the hundreds and thousands. They won't even be able to get in the door. We'll have to set up speakers outside of our churches to handle the masses that are coming. Revival has already started in America. Revival has already started in our hearts. There is a, it's ankle deep water right now, but I'm telling you, it's coming up quick. 
There's a flood. It's coming up quick. It's going to be knee deep before you know it. And then it's going to be waist deep. And then it's going to be to my chest. And then I'll be swimming in it. And you'll be swimming in it. There's a revival coming. It's coming. It's already started. It's a tsunami of revival. It's a tsunami of prayer. It's a tsunami of holiness. It's a tsunami of consecration. There are 405 altars right now. And I declare the fire of God is falling on you. The power of God is falling on you. The presence of God is falling on you. The, the wisdom of God, the, the, the heartbeat of God is coming into your chest. The heartbeat of God. Let us love what you love, God. And let us hate what you hate. Give us a desire for holiness. Give us a desire for prayer morning, noon, and night. Wash us, cleanse us, purge us. God, I'm asking you to save. I'm asking you to save Baytown. I'm asking you to save Baytown. I'm asking you for the call out your city. Call out your city right now. Call out your church. I'm asking you, God, to feel celebration of life with the lost God from the north, south, east, and west. We call them in, and we call them in, and as they walk in the doors, they're getting saved, healed, and delivered. They're getting saved, healed, and delivered. God, we ask you for street evangelists. God, I, I just want to go out into the streets. I'm calling for people to go out into your streets and to preach the gospel and to sing and to lay hands on the sick. As you go out among your day, preach the gospel. Lay hands on the sick. Prophesy. Ask God for words of knowledge in the name of Jesus. Ladies, I want to encourage you next week. We're in Nashville. We're in Nashville, Tennessee next week. I need everyone in Nashville to go get on the Eventbrite and sign up. If you're anywhere close to Nashville, go get on the Eventbrite and sign up. If you're anywhere close to Kentucky, we're going to Dana Coverstone's church on Thursday. We'll be at New River in Nashville on Wednesday, Dana Coverstone's on Thursday in Kentucky. Uh, in, bo in both of those, we want you to get on the event right and sign up so we know who's going to be there with us. Uh, we want you to sign on and pray with us. We're going into these cities. If you haven't seen the Houston prayer invasion, go back and listen to it. It was a powerful night last night. The Spirit of God moved in our midst in a powerful way. And I believe there is a new day for Houston, Texas. Not just because of our prayers, but the prayers that have been going up across this nation. The prayers that have been going up in the churches. The prayers that nobody knows about. The people that have been praying that nobody knows their name. Nobody knows they're getting in that prayer closet every day. I honor you, prayer, war prayer warriors. I honor you. I thank you that Houston will be a glory hub. That the Houston area and the outlining areas and all the surrounding areas, all the way up southeast Texas, will be a glory city. It'll be a glory region where the power of God will manifest in this city and across this state and across your state. Call your state out. Call your church out. Ladies, I want to encourage you to watch the broadcast we did last night. If you didn't get to see it, go on and view it and share it. It was powerful. I want to encourage you to share this broadcast and invite each one of you, invite 10 women to join us in the morning, 8 a.m. Central Standard Time. I love you so much. I also want to encourage you, those that are called to be with us at Crown, many of you have signed up. It is filling up. God said there will be 700 women here December 3rd through 5th. And the, it is not just another conference, but it is going to be a commissioning. And the glory of the Lord will fall. And I am seeing many, many, many women being literally shot out of here like cannons. And they will do the will, purpose, and plan of God. And if you are called to be here, you need to sign up. It is a very cheap ticket to get here. It's very expensive, uh, inexpensive to fly here right now. If you're close, you can drive. And then our conference ticket is very inexpensive. You need to sign up if God says sign up. So we love you so much. We just declare the blessing. I want to encourage you. If you feel led to give, we are in the last six, six cities. 
And if you feel led to give, it would be much appreciated. There's nothing like praying, fasting, and sowing a seed. And anything that came in last night and through the next, uh, through, uh, through Monday, through Monday, I'm going to take 30% of that and send to Sean Foyt. I believe in what Sean Foyt is doing. So if you feel led to give, if you feel led to give, we've got six more cities. We would very much appreciate anything that you sow into this ministry. There will be a link at the top that you can sow into where you can do it electronically or you can send an offering to a P.O. box. We thank you for all your gifts so far. And I want to tell you, ladies, for those that feel led to sow, every, I can't tell you, I'm not going to say everyone because that would be an exaggeration, but there have been hundreds. Hundreds have reached out to me. Hundreds where God has moved powerfully when they prayed, fasted, and give, and, ha and they made a choice to give to this, um, to this prayer tour because this is God's heart. This is God's heart. So I love you. I'll see you in the morning. God bless you. And um, ma make sure you take your communion. You take your communion today. Make sure you take your communion. I love you so much. God bless.